Let's create a simple app and host it in Neptune Launchpad as well as mobile client. We begin by creating a class in SAP GUI transaction SC24. Give a name of your choice and description for reference. And you can save it as a local object or as a transport request. We implement one of the Neptune interface and this provides methods which are bridge which acts as bridge between front end and back end. And create a public attribute of table type referencing to flight type which is references to S flight table. And let's create a method. Uh, method can be private or protected. In this method, we will write a simple select query uh, querying the records from S flight table. So it selects star from S flight and putting the records into the public attribute it underscore flights. So it's a simple method that's ready. Then let's write some code in Ajax on handle on Ajax because this method is invoked from the interface. Here we are writing a case on Ajax ID. So re remember the Ajax ID get underscore flights and this Ajax ID acts as a triggering point. So here when the Ajax ID is get flights, we call the method get flights from the class. And the cl this class, the simple class is ready and uh, let's activate this class. Once activated, the class is ready to be used with the app. Now in the app designer, uh, let's create an app from scratch. So name class as maybe ztest underscore five minutes underscore app one. And in the settings, you can give the descriptions and the title of the app, as well as uh, you can select SAP UI for version and assign a theme for this. Uh, we should give an application class. Uh, let's select the class that was created just by earlier. And um, let's go ahead and add the front end part. You can always use code snippets. I'm using code snippet simple app that gives you the basic framework of a page shell and few footers and headers. Now I would like to add a table, a simple sap.m. table which is responsive here. Just drag and drop and link it to the public attribute of the class. How I do in the model source and give the Ajax ID as get underscore flights. Uh, this was the ID that was given in the handle on Ajax method. Set the init load as online so that uh, the table is queried whenever it's online. And you select the columns or the fields of the table to be displayed. Activate and let's test it on the designer. You can see the table and the app works fine. And on the browser also the app looks pretty good. Now let's create tiles for this. App. Let's create a tile for this app and add it to a launch pad. Tile. So in the cockpit go to the tile, add, give any name and the description. And you can select uh, from the icons. This will be the main icon on the tile. Since we are doing with flights, let's select a flight icon. And here you can see the preview, the design of the tile, how it looks. The title of the tile will be my flights and subheader can be Fireman app. And this is how the tile looks on the launch part. In the actions part, you can select the app that was just created. Uh, also, this was this is the Neptune app. You can always reference it to a standard Fury application or any external URL. Let's create a launchpad here. Uh, going to the launchpad, add and give any name. 
and the description for the launchpad a launchpad framework is ready let's edit and add some details maybe an icon relating to home and uh, launchpad application as uh, neptune underscore launchpad underscore desktop because we are dealing with the desktop launchpad and start application is uh, correct correct by default and in the authentication uh, we verify the server url of the netweaver system and we can add the tile here the tile that uh, that was just created just I'll add that and the launchpad should be ready and you can see the launchpad here and the tile tile launches the app that was created looks pretty good and simple now let's create a mobile client for this uh, app as a mobile client which is a launchpad mobile launchpad so give a name and description for reference you can always choose uh, existing templates the mobile client framework is ready verify the launchpad application start application give an icon if required you can always um, in the authentication part verify the netweaver url on the devices give the application id for file repository file references give an author and also you can choose platforms here we are we have selected all the three platforms of the mobile devices and uh, going into save we can we'll add the tile now which was created earlier like five minute app select then go into publish set it as published you can always uh, make it make the launchpad available for everyone so set the publish uh, published as on then give the system description for it's a name reference and of course you can add the policy where you can restrict uh, the availability of this app according to email domain maybe so here we are i'm adding policy for a particular user set to publish and let's see this in a mobile device this is the neptune client on mobile device and uh, once you log in you can always uh, see the available launchpad for your id from your system uh, let's uh, scan the qr code and add the launchpad for the mobile client and and the mobile client will be added to your list of clients then log in again here you can see the new client referring to the new mobile client log in with your credentials the pin code and you can see the tile the tile that was added and also this launches the app inside mobile device 